Hello, and welcome to tonight's edition of Drop Bears, A Threat to Wall, today on the Discovery Channel. Tonight, we'll be talking about a threat that has swept Canada by storm. Welcome to a small town called Bell River. The town didn't hurt anyone, just minding its own business when Drop Bears attacked. The bears have been recently been found in the, t the town's local high school. Bell River High. Here's some actual footage from a guy who just happened to have a cameraman. Incredibly shocking stuff. I'm here with Kim. Kim, yeah, do you have any information about the recent droppers attacks? <laughs> I'm afraid to open up my locker. One of those devil koalas now might jump out. <laughs> So where do these drop bears come from? For that, we will go ask well-renowned expert, Dr. Vlad. Hello, Dr. Vlad. Can we ask you a few questions regarding the drop bears, right? Sure. So where do they come from? They come from New Zealand. Scientists in New Zealand were trying to find um, a cure to their extinction, because the koala is going to be extinct soon. But something went terribly wrong with the experiment, and they ended up growing fangs and the feast for human flesh. How do they attack their victims? They like hiding in trees and waiting for victims. Walk by when they're most vulnerable, when they're unaware that they're there. They jump on you when you are most vulnerable. The drop bears have gotten smarter, and they made a small boat made out of bamboo thickets and mud. They sailed in different countries, but mainly Canada, as seen in this graph. Why are they coming to Canada? Well, Canada has lots of trees and temperaments. Okay, well, Dr. Vlad, I'd like to thank you for taking your time. Okay. Where did these drop bears come from? For that, we still have to find out. <laughs> I think it's because we're public school. I mean, I spoke to Sister Mary Bitchface over at St. Anne's, and over at St. Anne's, and Oh Mary Mother of God High. They don't seem to have this problem. I mean, we say we're going to get stuff done, but we never do. The situation has gotten so bad that school had to be evacuated for three weeks. They died because they had no one to feed on, but they just keep on coming back. The students formed an S-A-T-A-D-B, the Students and Teachers Against Drop Bears. It's a club the entire school participated in to support the recent deaths and injured by drop bears in our school. The students started a riot. Yeah! 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 Fear has stricken these students. I've been suspended once before for not going to gym class. I didn't want to go into the changing room because that's where they sleep. <laughs> Oh, hey, look, it's uh, Principal of the school. What's up? <laughs> Principal, do you have any information about the drop bear threats in the school? All I have to say is that threat's being dealt with. But what about all the uh, lawsuits? No comment. But, listen, enough. I gotta go. <laughs> about a girl that got bitten by a drop bear. She got pregnant and died. So that's our documentary for this week. Tune in next week while we talk about 
how drop bears are evolving to live in the vacuum of space. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Ah! <laughs> Roiki, look at that menacing drop bear. Right here, we are viewing a drop bear in its natural habitat. It is unknown to our position. Formed an SAT. A D B. The students and teachers. Okay, wait a minute. School informed and S A T A D B. Students against teachers. I Go. Hello. I have a rape whistle. <laughs> Are evolving to live in the vacuum of space. Wait, what was that? Ah!